Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 28, Sniper Attack Part 4. It's a follow-up to Sniper Attack Part 3, which I have opened on my computer now. If you have any questions or comments, you can contact me at flashthingy at hotmail.com. Making sure all the layers are locked. And what we're going to do now is when the bad guys get hit, instead of them disappearing, we're going to have them sort of fall down. Open the Actions panel and put an Enter so I start in a new line and type in this variable. Type, 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 type. It's a variable. It's called Bad Guy 1X. Capital B, capital G, and a capital X. So this is going to be a, a value that's equal to his coordinates when he's hit eventually. S as a colon, number, number turns blue, equals zero. Open up the library panel, and we're going to deal with this bad guy one movie clip. There it is. And lock the bad guy layer for a minute insert a layer and call it action script AS and select frame one open the actions panel and I think the easiest way to do this is to just put the code down then I'll give you an explanation of it type 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 starts off the top line has is a very another variable the variable VAR turns purple bad guy 1x C as in count, for example. Capital B, capital G, capital X, that's the X coordinate, and C, colon, movie clip. Capital M, capital C, that turns blue, equals movie clip, capital M, capital C, that turns blue, open bracket root, R-O-O-T, close bracket semicolon. And what that is basically saying is I want to treat this variable as if it was on the main scene. So we're going to do some things with this with this variable and we'll look at them on the main scene. And we're going to do that from with this with this line with these lines here. Uh, we want this to happen over and over again because what I'm going to do is try to keep track of where this where this um, bad guy 1a is on the on this timeline here. This is how we're going to keep track of them. So stage, S-T-A-G-E, period, turns blue. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, that turns blue. Open bracket, event, capital E, V-E-N-T, period. And this, enter, underscore, frame, is all capital letters. Then comma is black, and I'm calling this bad G1 enter frame. B A D capital B capital G E N T E R capital E and frame I'm just spelling F R M. Close bracket semicolon. Function turns purple and I just copied this and pasted it here. Open bracket E colon event capital E V E N T that turns blue. Close bracket colon void void turns the same color as function. There's the open bracket for the function. There's the close bracket for the function. And now what I'm saying is this bad, bad G1XC, this word right here, this variable, period, it is going to be transferred to this bad G1X, which is on C1. So we're going to treat them as if they're one and the same variable, equals two. And it's going to equal to bad G1A underscore MC. That's the that's this bad guy right here, him. It's going to be equal to bad G1A underscore MC period X. It's X coordinate. And X is a turns blue, semicolon. And to see that happening, we're going to trace it. T R A C E that turns blue. And just copy this, 
paste it in there with a closed bracket and a semicolon. And if this hasn't come up, this last closed curly bracket, put it in. Now we should be able to, nope, not yet. We can't test it yet because it'll give us an error. Go back to the timeline. Now what we got to do is we got to make sure now because in this code we're talking about this bad guy 1A movie clip, we have to put them in here and, and uh, give them instance names. So lock the action layer, select this, unlock this bad guy layer, select the first frame that has them in it, and right click, get the crosshairs, copy it, and what you're copying is that bad guy 1A movie clip. Select frame one, come down here, paste it in place. Come over here, open the properties panel, there it is, and type in that instance name. VAD G1A Shift MC. Copy that. If I click here where my first keyframe is, click on him. I got to give him an instance name here. Paste it in. Move up to the next keyframe, which is right here. Make sure he's highlighted. He is. Open the properties panel, click on him again, paste in his movie, his uh, instance name again. Otherwise, we'll get one of those errors, null errors. Come on the next keyframe, paste in the instance name. And I got at least one more to do here. Click, select that one. This one might be in there by now. Yeah, nope. Paste this one in. Now go all the way back to frame one for a minute. Click on frame one. Right click after you get those crosshairs. Copy it again. And in my case, I gotta go up here, put them here. Come down here, paste in place. And I think he will have an instance name. Good. So now, if we test it, we're gonna see as he moves across here, we're going to see his exposition change on our output panel. Testing it. I have no errors. There he goes. And it's working. See this? It's working. It's telling me he's going out. He's going out again. He's coming back. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing now with number two. So I'm going to go back to scene one and open the actions panel here for a minute and copy this paste in the very paste it in and call this number two then I'm going to go back to this bad guy one movie clip blah 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 here and This bad guy one movie clip which we just worked on open this action panel here and right click copy all this code open up bad guy two movie clip lock this layer insert a layer call it action script I'll just do two with you and the rest you can do of them you can do yourself uh, open this action panel paste this in here make this a two that's all the stain that's all the same make this a two 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 so all that's done now we gotta go in here and do these lock this unlock this layer Select this first keyframe that has something in it. There it is. Right click, copy that bad guy 2A. That's what we actually did. Select frame one. Right click, paste it in place. Open the properties panel up and give it that name BADG 2A underscore MC. Copy that.
go up to this keyframe, open the properties panel, select them again, paste in that instance name, go to the next one, open the properties panel, paste in instance name, up to the next one, open the properties panel, paste in an instance name, make sure its instance name is here, it isn't, nope, paste in an instance name, now like as we did before, go all the way back to here, right click, copy, you may have gotten away with copying it while we're sitting here, but I'm not 100% sure. Select this, right click, paste in place, and we have that covered. Now, where I have this one tracing, I don't want to see two traces, so I'm going to go back to this number one and I'm going to use my forward slashes right here and comment that out. So when, when I see the trace, I'm seeing the trace from this bad guy number two. Hopefully no errors. Oh, something's not right. He's moving and I'm not tracing. I'm inside this bad guy 2 movie clip. I'm going to open the action panel again. And there are two reasons why it didn't we didn't see the the change because this guy goes up and down. So the x coordinate doesn't change. So that x here should be a y. And I didn't make this number 1 here a 2. So now if we test it And as he goes up and down, we can see these coordinates change and as he goes up and down. So to make some sense of it, let's go in here and where I have this capital X, make this a capital Y. Uh, that can stay all the same. This capital X can become a capital Y. This one, a capital Y. That can stay like it is. This one, a capital Y this one a capital Y. I don't think I missed any. You may have not made that mirror. You may have picked it up. Back to scene one and make this a Y. Capital Y. And I'm just going to test it once more to make sure I have everything done properly. And it's recording. Now he starts to move and my coordinates move. That's good. Now we want to replace the shot bad guy when he disappears with a bad guy that's fallen down. So let's open up the bad guy one movie clip for a minute. Make sure bad guy layer is unlocked. Select frame one. Double click on them. Get these fuzzy things. Get the crosshairs and copy that image. Open up the library. Make a new symbol. B A D guy 1h as in being hit underscore mc we now have that new movie clip select frame one call it bad guy select the first frame and paste him in place there he is go back to scene one let's make it scene 50% come down to the bottom of the timeline where I have bad guy 1 make sure all these layers are locked select bad guy 1 insert layer call it B A D guy 1 H open the library panel and get that bad guy 1 H and put him right next to that door for a minute. This back building, click right here so I hide it. 
so now I can hide it and I have this bad guy 1-8 selected and using your arrow keys line them up as best you can doesn't have to be too accurate because it's going to happen real quick to that guy once you have them there just using the left arrow key I want to keep them on the same axis there just move him over off the stage lock that layer make sure all the frames are visible again and unlock bad guy one for a minute and he's behind this door so if I just highlight it open the properties panel there he is bad guy one and I'm looking at his X position and it says 268 point something so I'm going to call it 269. I'm writing that down, 269. Locking that layer. All my layers are locked. Open the Actions panel. And down here for this number one bad guy, right after this trace, I'm going to put this code. Type, 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 type. And I'm talking about bad guy 1H underscore MC. That's that little movie clip we just made. Period X, its X coordinate is going to be equal to. Now, this is that bad guy 1 large X, this variable up here that is keeping track of where that bad guy is as he's moving in and out of the buildings. But because the coordinate we're using is the coordinate within the bad guy movie clip it's not the same coordinates that's on the stage and that's why I had to get that coordinate from the x-axis to add to it and if you don't get that that's alright just go with it so shift add and we said 269 semicolon so now if I tested this out and shot bad guy 1 He's going to disappear, and this new bad guy is going to come in and take his place. I got an error, and I know what it is. I didn't give it an instance name. So unlock this bad guy 1H layer. Highlight him. Open the properties panel. And BADG1H underscore MC. Now it's going to lose that error and if I shoot him when he comes out he disappears and this is the new bad guy I know it is because he's not shooting let's go back to scene one lock that layer and let's do the same thing for bad guy two and for bad guy two he's the one that's going to be in front of the window but I want to use the guy from bad guy one because I want his legs so open movie clip bad guy one again select that first frame click on this like get that fuzzy looking pattern get my crosshairs copy that go back to scene one open up the library panel come down here where it says new symbol make a new symbol and this is B A D guy two H underscore M C. Now we're inside this bad guy two H movie clip, and call this layer bad guy. Select frame one, come down here and paste in place that bad guy. Back to scene one. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select bad guy to layer. Insert a layer. B A D guy to H. Select frame one. And bring that guy in. Open the library panel. Bad guy to H. There he is. And let's bring him real close to this window for now. And we can see you got to be in line with this guy eventually. So let's put him right there. I can see his head. I'm happy with that. 
and this is going to happen. No, let's, let's put them there. All we're worried about here is this axis. Once we get them in line, tab them up, out of the way. Let's do something similar. Open up bad guy two right here. You can see he's selected, if not highlight him. And it's the Y coordinate, and I have 141.9, so I'm going to make it 142, writing that down. Going into my action script. I'll copy this line. Come down to number two bad guy. Paste it in here. And the first thing is, it's bad guy 2H. Make that a 2. It's going to be the Y axis we're dealing with. And the offset is going to be 142. And did we give this guy an instance name? Click on uh, unlock bad guy 2H. Make sure you select it. Nope. B A D G 2 H underscore M C. And if we did things right, both of these guys should disappear and be replaced. Mirror. Bad guy 1 Y. I defied property. wonder why it's saying that. Bad guy 1 Y. Oh, bad guy 2 Y. Bad guy 2 Y. And back down here, right here, this line we just put in, this is actually changing the X coordinate. I want to change the Y, small Y, not a capital Y. Now, Test this out. No errors. He disappears. There's the new guy. He disappears. There's a new guy. Now, they're going to be moving, so it doesn't matter that his feet are sticking out under the building right now. Let's open bad guy 1H. There he is. Open his timeline up. And what we want him to do is just to fall when he gets hit. So let's do it in a couple of frames. Go up to frame three each. Insert a keyframe. Get your free transform tool and select that circle. Put it down in the corner. And let's just tilt. Oop, excuse me. And get that circle, that curve, and tilt him a little bit. Go up a couple more frames. Insert a keyframe. And tilt him a little bit more. Up a couple frames, insert a keyframe. Now I'm also going to be tilting them a little more. Insert a couple keyframes and putting them there. And finally, insert a couple keyframes and bringing them flat down. Now you can play around with these. I'm I'm not a I'm not a good drawer. Let's do the same thing for something similar for number two let's go and look at uh, h2 do something similar now this guy is going to fall sort of forward i'm not so sure i can can do that but let's okay that's where he is on the first frame i'm going to go up to frame three each insert a keyframe i'm going to just grab the top section here I don't know how well this is going to work. Free transform tool. Get the arch and rotate him a bit. And also drag him over. And at the same time, I want his feet to be... Select his feet and bring them up. Go up a couple more frames. Insert a keyframe. Not much of a drawer. Select the top part. Get the arch rotated a bit. Bring it over to the right. Grab the feet again, the legs, bring them up. 
insert another keyframe and I'll just do this one more time oops I rotate it just a little bit and I'm going to bring this feet up now I know this is not going to look the best but this is what I'm going with and you can modify that to fit your needs control test movie test okay shoot him he just falls over oh we got to put a stop on him shoot him and he falls over okay so let's put a stop on those lock that layer insert layer select last frame insert keyframe call it action script click on that frame open it up stop s t o p open close bracket semicolon go back to number one h make sure that's locked insert a layer action script make the last frame a keyframe insert a keyframe open the actions panel now as I said test movie tests when I shoot him bang he falls when I shoot him bang he falls I'm just going to put some more frames in in for these guys I'm just going to extend each of these simply by going like this insert frames there and insert frames there and getting this clicking on this and dragging this up here for that one so it takes a little bit longer to happen and let's do the same thing on number two hit oops insert some frames insert some frames click on it get the fuzzy square now we have a problem that the got we fix so let's go back to number one this movie clip we needed to put him on the stage here even though we don't want him to be there because we're writing code here for for him and if he's not there we'll get an error so what we're going to do is join this time so select this frame make this very small and drag him selection tool and just click and drag him right off off the stage gone don't need to worry about him here we want him because that's where he's standing in front of the and standing in front but here we don't want them so click here and again drag them off the stage go for number two same thing here we don't want to see them whoops drag them off the stage here we want to see them but here we don't want to see them there now let's test this see he's not shooting because he's there replaced once he goes back down he stops shooting because he's no longer there and when he comes up we shoot him and he's dead I'm not going to do the remaining three you can do them if you can't do them if you're trying to do them or if you can't figure out how to do it um, if I get enough requests I'll do the remaining three but other than that I think that most people will be able to get through this I hope you learn something from these tutorials and I hope you use what you learn